Now that we can ping all of our IP version 4 addresses on the network, we know we have at least connectivity to everything and at least the IP version 4 addresses are correct. But let's try pinging some IP version 6 addresses and see if we have the same connectivity. And if there are issues, it's probably a setting connectivity and nothing physically that's wrong with our connections because we know at least from a layer 2 perspective, everything is up and running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ping and we'll do ping FC00 colon 1 colon colon. Uh, we'll start out with the router and see if we can ping the router. We have connectivity to the router. So let's do next the switch one. We That seems to be fine as well. Let's do switch two. That also we can ping switch two. Let's do switch three. Uh, three is looking okay as well. We can ping demo pi one and see if we got connectivity to it and we do we can ping demo pi two we have connectivity to it so everything is looking good and looking sharp so the only other thing that i need to do is the loopback interface and now we've just discovered an issue so i pretty much have connected to everything we know we can ping the loopback address at least from an ip version 4 standpoint but some something is wrong with the ip version 6 standpoint so i know i have connectivity i know i can get out so now let's take a look at that router and see what's going on with the router all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect up to our router and take a look at it so i'll bring up a router here we'll load it open and I need the password for this connection. So I'll copy the password, get into it. And I, my favorite command once again, but this time we're do, going to take a look at IP version six. So IP version six, show, uh, show IPv6 interface brief. And we take a look at the loopback and we see FC00 colon B colon colon 12. Aha, 12 instead of two. So we need to change that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into that interface. So interface loopback one is the interface. And the first thing I'm going to do is remove that old one. So I'm going to first show duo show run interface loopback one. And there it is. I'm going to take away this statement right here. So I'll take this statement away. And then I'm going to replace it with this. We'll say 2 slash 128 and hit enter. And there we have it. So now I can test this out and see if I can reach it at this point in time. And I am, I'm able to reach it. So that was the issue. So we fixed this issue. So now one thing I will note is that I have made several changes on these devices. And what I haven't shown you is that you still need to save your configurations because if this were to get reset and it was saved that way, then I would lose that change. So. I want to do a copy run start on all my devices after I've fixed the issue just to make sure that I'm saving the settings. And I have seen before where a device gets reset and then you lose your settings because something was changed and not saved. So there you have it. So now we're all up and running. We have all of our IP version 6 addresses are pingable and all our IP version 4 addresses are pingable. So we are golden now. We are good to go. So, woohoo, feels great. Feels great to have a working network that's functioning well.